Good evening ladies and gents. So I am back with the Congress Play video and this is going to be a little bit different than my usual style of video. This is going to be part of a new series which I'm going to be doing and I'm going to be getting you involved in helping me choose exactly what units to take into battle for a video as well. So the first match we're going to be taking in are Black Dragon mercenary unit so we've got the black dragon pikemen the black dragon spearmen the black dragon javelineers the sea stag death dealers and the black dragon archers so these guys are all the mercenary units which are found on this tab here which you can purchase for either silver or for sovereigns i haven't got these guys yet because i'm poor <laughs> <laughs> that's why I'm taking all these guys in but these are all the mercenary units when you get the mercenary units they unlock straight up to level 20 obviously there's no doctrines on them so you can put your own doctrines into them however they have a very unique perk which is very very cool which I want to show you if I just bring up one of them very quickly and then go into there uh, perks so own supply line is very very useful because you don't actually have to replace any of the kit losses for these guys so if you are looking at bringing people in to actually get a load of bronze because you have none these guys are really really good really worthwhile investment they also increase the uh, rewards from a battle by 10% which is really good so let's get straight into a siege battle Okay, so the Battle of Allenberg, and we've got our uh, mercenary units ready to go. So I'm going to be putting this video out in its full, unless I die and I'm having to wait around for a good like minute or 80 seconds, then I'll just very slowly uh, jump cut to the next part of the battle. However, you're going to be seeing this battle totally in full. Now, if you do enjoy this battle, if do enjoy this video, please do let me know down below. Hit that like button and all the rest of it as well. Also, let me know down below what units you want to see me playing next. I pretty much have every single unit unlocked. So whatever you want me to see, it can be just one unit or it can be a whole tree of units that you want me to take in, a whole actual uh, build of units. Let me know down in the comments below and I'll look at getting that done. So the defense of Allenberg is on. And actually, I have to say this is probably one of my most favorite maps, especially for defense really cool little uh, castle and I like the fact that actually you can drop back into this secondary bit as well and this just becomes an absolute bloodbath absolutely love it so what we're going to do is we're just going to get our uh, pikes and everything set up on the main gate here so this is the buff that I was on about the 10% mercenary bonus for taking you can just take one mercenary unit into a game and this uh, this bonus actually appears Unfortunately, it doesn't stack with the more mercenary units you bring in, which would be really nice, but slightly OP. But 10% uh, extra hero unit experience, bronze points and honor. I'm pretty happy with that for the uh, after battle rewards. Obviously, the better you do in the battle as well, the more rewards you're going to be getting. If you win as well, you get a plus, I think it's plus 100 um, extra points straight onto your score. So it actually increases your rewards pretty, pretty nicely if you are the winner of a siege battle. But I'm gonna get into the actual fight now. I'm gonna start talking what we're gonna do and actually what we need to be looking out for. So usually I run up straight up here onto a siege ballista, but I was just obviously going through the uh, the mercenary bonus and the buff and what it brings you and everything. And setting up my pikes and everything, but that's fine because all of the ballistas and cannons have already been taken out. I have to say people's um, People's aims with the cannons are definitely getting better. They seem to absolutely destroy defenders' cannons very, very quickly. Very quickly. Look at this guy just on the ladder here. We are going to kick him off. We're going to get rid of this guy. So B is usually like the the most like hotly hit like point on this map. For siege battles. It's very difficult to defend actually because you can um, you can get trapped massively as a defender on that point. So it's, you can't set up your units really because they're going to get trapped, and you can't really get um, you can't get into that great a position ready to stop the siege tower, which literally parks right onto the point. <laughs> so it's really difficult to stop. I have to say though, in 
whatever battle, I always prefer playing the defenders. I find playing defense is so much more fun and enjoyable than, uh, than attacking. Oh, wow. Oh. What happened to that? Oh, he's over there. Wow, that's laggy. That is laggy. So we're just going to pull our guys back down here because I don't want them getting tripped. And actually, we've managed to hold this point pretty well because they didn't bother really bringing many of their units there. God, I love the glaive. I love that 15% bonus as well. That makes a huge difference. It does make a huge difference in terms of um, damage. And it does give your oh, damn it, your uh, your team quite an edge, really. Uh oh, they're coming, boys. Go back, go back, go back, back, back. Don't, don't go rushing down there. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, there's another siege tower. It's just um, just popped over there. Right, and get let's get our uh, pikes ready. So as a glaive as well, nice little top tip. Hit that damage buff and then get your units to charge and that obviously increases their damage hugely in that charge oh wow there's a lot of people here we're um we're dying very quickly let's go back and get some more units very very quickly because our pikes are probably done there so let's say for the mercenary units if you are looking at investing in any get the pikes or get the jabs they're the, by far the best two units the shield units are very poor, I would say. The uh, the ranged, so the musket users, the sea stag, uh, sea, uh, sea stag death dealers, they do do decent damage, but their aim is absolutely atrocious. The uh, archer units, their damage output is okay, and they do do poison. I think it's poison arrow they do as well, which. It does add up the damage, but they're not the. Um, I mean, archer units aren't the heaviest of hitting kind of units anyway. But they're um, the mercenary archer units are, are definitely not that heavy hitting at all. So, if you are looking at investing in some, I would definitely go for the jabs or the pikes. The pikes actually really do hold up against um, other units. They're not. They're not a bad unit at all. Actually, the the mercenary pikes. Well, Let's run over to A because you can see um, A is, is starting to drop. There's a trev there, so you see what I mean. Like that whole point can just very easily get smashed by um, by trev. It's very dirty, very dirty. Ooh, I've ended up in the middle of some uh, confettis. Oh, that ain't good. Yep, yep. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, got me. That's right, hopefully our jabs can still uh, pick up a few kills there. But that's fine, we've held them for a little bit. The, to be honest with this map, unless your team is like absolutely solid, you are always going to lose these first two points really. And then the, the, the main like, the main defence is this bit here. Because actually it's really difficult for the attackers to get in. They can go up on ladders and stuff. But actually, it's a lot more difficult to um, get into that point than it is A or B. C is usually um, you can use C. Uh, C is a difficult one on this map because it can be attacked by so many different points. So you've got a little backward or back gate type attack up here. People can go up the ladder still, up the walls, and come down as well. And you're getting hit by the front here as well. So if people are actually um, thinking about what they're doing they can very easily capture C and very quickly capture C as well a real good like point a real good piece of advice that I would I would give people once you've taken A or B just go straight to C don't don't worry about the other point because actually you can see already our supply points getting taken so that's exactly what they're going to do they're going to come up this back door just stop this path which still not a lot of people know about on this map we can get our archers, I think, a little bit of cover just in here. Make it a little bit easier, uh, a little bit harder for people to um, attack them. So this is the mercenary. 
black dragon archers and this is their skill the poison arrows so it does do additional damage it does a little bit of extra damage to um two people which which is good it does add up but i wouldn't um if you're if you're looking at purchasing a mercenary unit i would suggest getting the uh the archer unit definitely the javs or the pikes are the ones i would definitely go for if i had choice So you can see the damage is okay, but it's nothing to like, it's nothing to write home about at all. But you see what I mean about them taking C already before they've even taken A? Like, because none of the rest of the team are up here, there's only me. Now one more guy, but I've lost all my units now. Oh, come here, Marks! Come here, Marks! No! Oh, oh I just got shot. Okay, so we're back in. We fought our sea stag death dealers. Really annoys me that they're not called black dragon as well. Just the, uh, just like the one unit has a different name. It just bugs me. And my crazy OCDness. But I'm gonna set these guys up, and I'm gonna show you exactly what I meant about them having decent damage. Damage that they um they can pump out is very um very good. But their accuracy, especially at ranged, is absolute trash. A bit of a battle going on at sea now. People have actually realised this is what the uh, enemy team are trying to do. Finally. It's taken a little while, but we got here eventually. So we're just going to try and hold sea as much. Oh, wow. God. <laughs> what happened to him? I'm going to try and hold C as long as we can, although I don't see that being very long, actually. See, so even at this range, the uh, the muskets are struggling here to, um, to land shots. Very squish as well. Very squishy. That's one bad thing about all the mercenary units, is they are incredibly squish. So one thing to really do when you do die, as I seem to keep doing, which is very annoying, is go into the strategy map. So to go on the strategy map, press Z. This gives you a whole overview of the whole map. Now this is really useful, especially in sieges, because you can see actually what way people go in, what kind of uh, tactics they're using. Just bear in mind though, it doesn't give you a whole view of the map. It only allows you to see what one of your other team members can see. So as you see, as this whisk kid has run inside, he's actually lost sight of everyone here. So on my map, everyone's gone. So the only people that we can actually see are these guys here, and they'll be from one of these two. So more than likely, they're gonna be flanking around here, and there you go. So this is this map's very, very useful to just keep checking, especially, especially when you've died. And you're just about to swarm back in because you can straight away see actually which way I need to go. So right now I can see that there's seven guys, eight guys, piling through this gate. Whereas this gate only has three and actually they're not going to be too much of an issue. Very, very useful. Not a lot of people use that map. If more people use the strategist map, honestly, you would win so many more games. So many more games. <laughs> people just, I don't know if people just don't know about it or people just choose to ignore it. I, 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 I don't know. Good Japs. I love Jap units. Absolutely love Jap units. Just seems like no matter what Jap unit you have, they do pump out some decent damage. See, look at that. Look, that's, that's mad damage. Right, let's go back and go and get some more ammo, lads. Run back and go get some ammo. Right, I might run back actually and go and get a cannon or something um, set up ready to try and counteract the push that's coming. Nope, we don't need to change units. What I do want is I'm gonna just take my crappy green. Oh, I think I've chosen that, haven't I? Nuts, they're gonna win. 
No, I don't want it. Oh, damn it. Alright, well, I can show you the uh, Black Dragon Spearman anyway, the shield unit of the mercenary oh. units. It will also show you a very good position to set up um, artillery. Very good position to set up artillery on this map, which covers the point. And actually, you can't get trapped. And it's right in here. If you get some siege set up in here so if you have a cannon you can obviously shoot that that gate right over there even with the um hoacha launcher you can you can do a few hits um but cannons especially very good to line up for that gate and obviously people that want to come around and, and kill you have to run all the way around the corner which is uh, quite a ball ache really for them but you can't get trapped here which is good, because if you set up down that street there, you can get trapped down there. Which is very annoying, as you can probably imagine. But as you can see, people are starting to climb up on the ladders now. So this shield unit is okay, but I again I wouldn't um, I wouldn't advise purchasing this one if you're looking at getting a mercenary unit or two. I, w I wouldn't. I wouldn't go for. I wouldn't go for the shield unit ones. Wow! I missed absolutely everything. Huh? Sit back up there. No! No! Get off my! Get off my arms! <laughs> oh, you cheeky beggar! Get off my arty. God damn it, son. Ooh, that was poor life choice. There, uh, so they've got four minutes and they are more than likely, yeah, getting ready to stack up and everything that, so they're, uh, they're all coming. Come on, boys. You're not really should be attacking, but... Go on. Go on. Ah, oh, goddammit. Assist, really. I did all the damage. Let's see if we can quickly run back and get our jabs back out. Whoa. whoa that trap was close. That was one damn close trap. Just hold it. If we play this clever, I've definitely, um, I've definitely survived worse than this. Ooh, that was a good trip, that one. See what I mean? Like, this street is just primed to be trouble. Oh, great, I've got two dudes left. Go on, boys, get him. I think someone's using the zaps, which are very good. Oh no. Oh god. I had no right to survive that. Right, let's see if we can. So it's got. I wouldn't stack your dudes there, dude. You're gonna get trapped. Ooh, some cheeky police there. Got the point covered pretty well, actually. I just went pining in. Um, go, 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 go. Take the buff. Oh, I interrupted my all eight. Oh, that would have done some sick damage. He got killed anyway. Okay, we got him off that time. We've got two minutes, boys. Two minutes. Come on. Come on. We can do this. Oh, no, they're capping our supply point. 
<laughs> oh no. Oh, this ain't no good. This is gonna be a close one. It's a good game, whatever happens now though. You get it down to like a minute, minute th oh, minute thirty. And then you lose. You know you know it's a close game, isn't it? Oh, oh you see that damage. So we're out we're out of the game. This is us done, so it's all on the team now. Oh, this is gonna be a very, very close one. I don't, I wouldn't like to call it either way right now. And kill these two guys. That will make a massive difference. I think, we, oh, I don't like to call it, but I think that we might have this. You see what I mean? Like the second, like the second defense, the second wall. This is an absolute bloodbath. I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it, but I think we have done it. I don't think I've got time to actually cap now. Yeah, we've done this. There you go. I think it would take them at least 30 seconds to cap the rest of that. Oh, what a game. What a game. Oh, and we got a vault as well. Very nice. Oh, it's nice. So, we do. You just didn't do too great. <laughs> Pike when did by far the best. Yeah, that's um, those are scores definitely not to uh, to write home about. Right down the freaking bottom as well. God. So guys, I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you very much for watching this one. If you did enjoy this one, then please do let me know down the bottom below. Also, question to you for the next video: Who is next? Let me know what unit or what unit makeup you want me to take into the siege next time. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to catch you on the battlefield.